I think the things that are most frustrating to me are the folks who are just like, ugh, throw up my hands, climate fatalism, climate, and aside from the denialism, the fatalism that like, well, what are we going to do anyway? And if, if I think about the changes that I've seen in my lifetime, in my kids' lifetime around what's available, yes, we might not be exactly where we want to be around electric vehicles and solar deployment, but we are fundamentally in a different place than we were six years ago, which is before this bill even passed. And so if we are trying to get people to focus not just on the short term and the disappointments that they feel in the long term, uh, short term, but the long term and how the arc of time is, there, there are things that are fundamentally changing. You know, in 2020, there were 90,000 electric vehicle chargers. Right now, there's an estimated 100, 180,000 and possibly by 2030, we'll be at 500,000 that are planned. None of that is like a snap your fingers overnight kind of, oh, they'll just pop up in my neighborhood. That still requires infrastructure. It requires folks to be trained in how to build and maintain these kinds of assets. It requires that like there actually be siting and permitting as it relates to renewable energy. Like there's so much that it requires. And I think the other thing that frustrates me is that because solutions are, aren't, they may be billed as simple, but they're never simple. And they require so much underneath them um, that people get frustrated by things taking time. But yeah. that's how you learn. That's how you grow. Things take time.